Let's understand script black boxing. So whenever you are working with some framework code, it happens very often that during stepping through your file, you actually land up in framework code. So in this case, we have landed up in React DOM source file. And at this point, you can't really do much because you know there is no point in debugging this file and it's also very hard to go back to the source file where you wanted to continue debugging right and let's do this once more if i again click that button i end up in some method but look at the call stack on the right now you can see that the first item in the call stack is on click fetch repos which is our own code but the rest of the item in the call stack are really just from react dom again this doesn't help in your debugging because you don't really want to look at those items in the call stack so just to mention your call stack also appears in other places like your network tab or your console tab now if you just go to the right hand side and open the settings you'll find something called black boxing within that you can add a regex pattern so let's say something like dot slash node modules which decides which files or frameworks will get blocked so this should work in most cases but if you have something like a vendor file you can add that chunk name instead if i just close this file you will notice that the call stack suddenly got a lot shorter it only shows one item now which is our own method and even if we try to step through our file it makes sure that we never land up in the framework code. I think this is really great because if you land up in framework code, it causes a lot of friction. And you know, whenever you have a lot of friction during debugging, you tend to not do it. You tend to just fall back to console log or you know, just going through your source file manually. So I think this is a huge step because when you add a script to black box, it feels like in your Chrome DevTools that file doesn't even exist.